On the 7th of February 2023, history was made. Looking for James, he's got it. At the age of 38, LeBron James scored 38 points. Coming to the end of the third quarter. Including the most important one in his career. LeBron James, a shot in history. <laughs> Jay Webski and I build landing pages. Hello everyone. I think I need to change the color to purple today. Oh, I'm excited about this one. I'm more like a Celtics fan, but come on guys, you have to give proper respect to LeBron James for becoming the NBA's top scorer of all time. The 38-year-old Los Angeles Lakers star passed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in career points, scoring 38 to give him a total of 38,390 in the game against Oklahoma City Thunder. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar had held the record with 38,387 points for nearly 40 years. Considered as an unbeatable score by many, LeBron James finally confirmed his 20 years of supremacy in the NBA league. Congratulations! To honor LeBron James and his all-time record, I'm gonna build a tribute landing page. I'm using Landingy Page Builder. If you want to try it for free, you can find the link in the description of this video. Now, let's do it! I started by searching for the Los Angeles Lakers brand colors just to copy their hex code and add them to my color palette and have them at hand. So when I need them, I can always use them quickly and access them really easily. Then I moved to create the hero section, so I made the background purple and the copy white. Uh, so I started to setting up all the communication, the messaging and the hero section. This is very important, this is something that the visitor will read just after entering the page, so it has to be visible, informative and encouraging to take the action. The big number, the high score, 38,388 points. This must be really big, really visible. I will also add something extra at the end of this episode, so keep watching because this will be a very nice effect. Another section, this time I use the gold brand color. I'll be also using this color on the call to action buttons, so I'm adding this one to the library as well. I will put a video of LeBron making his final shot to break the record. This will be in the second section and action for the call to action button in the first section is to scroll down to the next section so someone could watch the video. So I got this video footage of LeBron breaking the record from official NBA channel but as it turns out it's not imbeatable so settings of this video do not allow to publish this on external websites and landing pages so it just didn't work out so I had to find another video luckily I found it really quick it was another video so I used this one 
The way I implement landing pages in Landingi Builder is I very often publish them and check how everything looks on the final URL. So I publish this landing page under the URL jwebski.com slash lebron. You can check this out, of course. But this is the way I'm doing it because I usually implement something, change things, modify things and then publish just to check how it looks on the final page. And I decided to use a very cool effect in my opinion. So use the video I've embedded beneath in the second section and I decided to use it as a background of my entire page. So initially I put it in the background of the first section and applied an overlay color the purple color uh, with 80% transparency just to make it visible and make it a really nice effect of some action taking place in the background. It's turned out pretty well. At this stage of the work, I decided to work a little bit on my fonts, so I reduced the number of fonts I'm using on this landing page to just two of them. Plus, I've uh, put a shadow, text shadow, for the LeBron James widget and the big number widget, just to make them stand out in front of the rest. Plus, I've made the rest of the copy in the hero section 50% transparent. next section is about numbers, so I thought it would be really cool to put all the important numbers for this landing page, for this record, in one section. So I'm putting LeBron's image, of course it's on Creative Commons license, so I can use it uh, on my page. Plus the numbers, so the date, the age, scores, uh, everything important in this section. So someone can have this small summary about uh, what is it all about. So for the next section I decided to use the same effect as in the first section section with tweets. I decided to you know, embed a few tweets about this record breaking moment from famous NBA players, from some other influencers, just you know, for the record that it was a huge event and everyone was tweeting about it. Plus I'm adding a call to action button in the bottom of this section so someone could just click, go to Twitter and discover more tweets if they want to do it. I used HTML widget to embed the, all those tweets and it was quite tricky because it doesn't render straightforward in the editor. I had to, you know, check the positioning manually on the final URL. I just needed to be sure that it looks the right way. While browsing those tweets, I realized that LeBron James' Twitter handle is King James. So I thought it would be a really cool idea just to crown him. So I used emoji, just a regular emoji. So I just searched for crown, made it a little bit bigger and positioned it over LeBron's image. The next section is dedicated to top 10 NBA's all-time scoring list. So top 10 players, I used uh, two widgets, one is the list, the second one is just regular paragraph. And what I used here as well is a light gray box just to separate even rows in this quasi table and make it more readable, more accessible for the viewer. The next thing I needed to do was to fill out the content for open graph 
meta tags like OG title, OG description, OG image. And this was a tricky part. I thought it would be really good to just use the first section, the hero section, to be my OG image. So I just made a screenshot of what I have here and cropped it using a free tool just to match the OG image size. Also tested if everything was working fine so far so I used Facebook debugger tool which allows you to check any URL in, in the internet how it will be embedded if someone posts a link to this page so I just tested it and everything looked uh, really cool so I was happy with the effect last but not least Mobile view, of course, it needed a little bit of adjustments, so I updated it a little bit just to make it look good and be sure that everything displays the right way. So as the final touch, I decided to give this landing page a really nice animation on the record-breaking number. So I found JavaScript that allows to animate a number from whatever you want to whatever you decide. So I used the script, modified it a little bit so everything matches what I have in the editor. And after publishing, the effect was really, really nice. You can check the landing page at jwebski.com slash lebron. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if you like it. If so, you know what to do. Give me thumbs up and subscribe for more. Take care and see you soon.